Hello everybody and welcome to Electronics. So I wanted to make a video about how um, it will be easy for all of us to get a skill for any graph when I had an idea. Normally I would use this kind of picture, a screenshot or an image of a graph paper such as this to do the demonstration but I was like why not create a graph paper myself using Microsoft Excel that's right you can actually create a graph sheet or, or customize a graph paper by yourself using Microsoft Excel and you can do whatever you want with it you can use it for your personal use you can use it for anything you want to use it for so this is the process you first go to microsoft excel after going to microsoft excel you either decide to highlight a, a large number of cells because you're going to compress this um cell sizes to this tiny ones here this mini 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 boxes here so it's either you select a very large number of cells you select a very large area on your excel sheet or you even decide to just highlight everything that is by using control a so normally when you take your cursor up to this um headers headings that is your a's your letters and your numbers um the cursor changes shape it either changes to this field arrow like this this solid arrow or it changes to this so when it changes to this it means you can highlight a cell or a number of cells while if it changes to this then you can either expand or reduce your cells so to highlight it's either you you to highlight your number of cells you can do something like this or as i said since you're going to need a very large number of cells you can simply click on Control a to select everything so after selecting everything as i mentioned earlier we are going to compress our cells to this something like this therefore to do that we are going to use the other um, form of the cursor that is this so you go to any point whether at the beginning or at the end it just has to be um, at the border between one cell and another so up for the compression of the um, so for the compression so for the compression and the um, on the vertical axis that is for compressing the columns you go to somewhere like this and you change the width to something like 10 pixels That's right. so you have all your cells compressed vertically now for the horizontal axis you also come here and you compress it to 10 pixels also since it's they are square boxes so you keep it at 10 pixels so we already have uh, something similar to a wide expanse of graph now but we need to separate this area into boxes right this larger boxes and if you like you can further divide this into smaller boxes too such that if this is two centimeters half of it is going to be one centimeter so to do that we know our normal graph sheets have consist of big boxes which have 10 boxes each vertically and horizontally so to do that we are going to use our borders by the way you can change the color of your graph by you can highlight it then you come to this area where you can change your borders and you change your line color you can make it most of most of the graphs are either green blue or red so how about using red then you click on all borders 
so you have a red graph paper now to the to distribute this into boxes you go and you select 10 boxes each for each 10 um, small boxes each for one big box to do that we are going to use this now note that when you're highlighting your cursor is going to be in between the lines of a cell that is here somewhere here while to change the width the cursor is going to be exactly on the line therefore to highlight our 10 boxes I'm going to put my cursor somewhere here and then you can see the Excel is helping me count by showing the number of columns I'm selecting you see you can see 10 C there that's 10 columns so when I release it I can go to this section here and click on thick outside borders so after doing that you can see that it has highlighted this line to show that this is different from the others to do another one I can place my cursor somewhere here and select another 10 boxes 10 small boxes and then click this it's still thick outside borders so to do another one that's how you're going to keep doing until you get the desired number of boxes or until you get tired that is for the um, um columns for the rows too you put your cursor in between the lines for maybe you any number any row number that is one two or anything so i can place my cursor here since i'm going to start from the beginning i can start from here select 10 this is actually easier because your rows are already numbered so you click on this and it will give you a box so you can see 10 by 10 box with, with 10 boxes of maybe one millimeter each and you can create another one here if you mistakenly click on the line and set it to change the width so be careful I'll select another 10 boxes click on this so you can see now if you desire to further divide your um, your graph sheet into smaller boxes well you'd like to differentiate between um, these thick ones and the smaller ones right so instead of using thick border you can change your color maybe instead of using red you can use orange and then instead of using thick border you can just either use right border for this side or bottom border for this so to divide this side we are going to use right border so I'll select five that is differentiating dividing the box into two and I'll click on my right border this will create a border on this line so I have a smaller border so if it's not visible you can change the color for example I can go and change it to um, yellow at least that will be more visible so selecting this will give us well, these are six boxes selecting this will give us um, something like this well it's a bit bright you can change the color again maybe just something that will be distinct from the red so perhaps I can use this blue uh, no. mm, or let me just use black or ash so I can select my five boxes and click on right border so you can see this is distinguishable quite you select another five create a border and so on and so forth so on this side too you can repeat the same thing but you're going to change your border from right border to bottom border 
something like that so if this is in front of you you will be um more able to distinguish between these lines and so on and so forth so now if you go on and on you can end up with something like this this is blue and a dark green so this is more distinguishable so you can end up with something like this and you can further customize it by going to page layout you can change the margins you can change the dimensions of the margin this is the normal dimension with um one inch at the top one inch at the bottom you can customize that you can change your orientation either portrait or landscape you can change your page size from this range and when you go to view too you can click on page layouts and it will show you this view and here you can decide to add a header or a footer here and ultimately you can also decide to print to print you can go to file and then click on print to show you a preview of the printable page you can see i didn't add any header or footer this is just a simple graph paper which you can decide to print for yourself or for any or for any other even commercial activity so that's all for the creation of the graph paper per se do well to subscribe like this video and other videos you can also check the previous videos on the channel share with others so long and keep in touch by dropping your comments and so on thank you